As you know, Vietnam is, uh, is an emerging country and uh, they are faced with uh, significant public health issues, uh, some of them being associated with urban development. And this uh, country has experienced uh, a very rapid growth uh, in the last few decades and they are now faced with uh, significant public concerns. Thì hiện nay mà nền y tế công cộng Việt Nam cũng phải đang đối mạch mặt với những các cái bệnh như là bệnh truyền uh, nhiễm, các bệnh không truyền nhiễm và các bệnh mà do môi trường ô nhiễm gây ra. Thế còn các bệnh mà không truyền nhiễm ấy, thì là những các cái bệnh như là ung thư, bệnh đái tháo đường, thế rồi bệnh tim mạch, vân vân. Thì hiện nay Việt Nam chúng ta đang đối mặt với các cái bệnh đó. Tuy nhiên thì uh, mấy năm vừa rồi thì chính phủ Việt Nam đã đưa những các cái bệnh mà không truyền nhiễm, bệnh truyền nhiễm vào trong cái chương trình mục tiêu quốc gia. Thế và đặc biệt là đã đưa được bệnh phòng chống bệnh đái tháo đường, phòng chống bệnh tăng huyết áp và phòng chống uh, các bệnh uh, uh, ung thư thì đã đưa vào cái chương trình mục tiêu quốc gia. The reason why um, the non-communicable diseases have become more prevalent in, in low and middle income countries is really that we um, that people have a higher life expectancy. As we've treated infections better, people get older. The other really important factor is that uh, we have now half of the population living in urban settings. Living in the city just means you're exposed more to uh, non-communicable disease risk factors. Infectious diseases, as you know, uh, we are now facing with a different kind of zoonotic diseases uh, like uh, avian flu, SARS, and different kind of H1 uh, and 2 and 5 and 7. Dengue hemorrhagic fever first uh, tripled uh, in 1958 in Vietnam and spread uh, throughout the country. Every uh, number about 70,000 and one way that uh, every year. This is uh, one of ten, top ten of communicable disease uh, in morbidity and mortality in our country. An additional uh, challenge in Vietnam, it comes currently still with a lot of pollution because the environmental policies tend to lag behind what can be done. When we talk about health effects in population, we like to divide it in two types of effects. The short-term effects, meaning what uh, the effect of changes on air pollution levels from one day to another can have. And we can see that there is increasing a lot of outcomes, for example, mortality, hospitalization, uh, going to work, people cannot go to work, just due to this one day from another change. And then there are another type of uh, studies where they look more at what are the chronic exposure of air pollution. So those people that live longer uh, in, in areas that are more higher exposed also show higher negative effects on health than those that live in cleaner areas. So the objective of the dialogue event here today in Hanoi was really to bring together people working in different areas of health because the global health challenge today is really at a crossroads between environmental challenges because of the new uh, rapid urbanization, the population growth, and then on the same hand we, we are still facing a high burden of infectious disease and modern child health issues, but the non-communicable diseases are really drastically on the rise and the health services we have currently are often inadequately equipped to address these. Uh, you see, uh, Vietnam uh, have started talking about dual burden of disease uh, in the country. Uh, however, we have not yet uh, research activities or intervention program to tackle this important issue. So this two-day dialogue event uh, helped us to really develop a research agenda. To tackle the issues, I think it's very important to collaborate, to collaborate across all areas, political areas, to come up with policies where health is actually kept in the focus. So we need policies that protect people health, people's health in the long term and that needs collaboration. 
such a uh, complexity of the uh, world, uh, the most uh, e effective approach is working together to address uh, the uh, and to get to reach to achieve the common goal, health of people.